What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE figure set review and it is on the Walmart exclusive flashback series build a figure Howard Finkel Elite set. And these things look really good. I hate that it's the new articulation, you know. We don't get any more bicep swivel, and it's just really, really annoying. That is so unfortunate, but I really do love the Ted DiBiase. I think he is looking fresh in that green suit. Rick Rude, I always love Rick Rude. I didn't grow up watching him, but I love to go back and watch his old promos and his old work. He is fantastic. We have a bunch of legends right here. All of these figures, even though they are the new basics, do look really, really good. Um, we get some cool accessories, and of course, we get the Build-A-Figure pieces to make Howard Finkel that elite figure. Cannot wait to get that all built up. We're going to review all these figures and take a closer look at Howard Finkel as well. So let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging. Alright guys, here we have all of the flashback basics out of their packaging with their respectable Howard Finkel build-a-figure parts. We got Bob Orton right here with the microphone and head, Sergeant Slaughter with the arms, Ted DiBiase with the torso, and then Ravishing Rick Rude right here with the legs. And I think it's pretty cool that we get accessories with two of the basics. I think it's awesome that we pick up uh, Bob Orton's hat, which is very weird. You know, you usually don't get any accessories with basics unless it's like a chase figure or something like that. And then we get sunglasses and and the turban that comes with Sergeant Slaughter. I wish if they would have done that, they should have given us a briefcase or something, or maybe like a basic version of the Million Dollar Championship with Ted DiBiase, and then maybe like, I don't know, a robe or something to go with uh, Rick Rude. Um, I just think it's odd that they threw in accessories with these two and not the other two, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know if it tied into Howard Finkel or anything like that, but I think it is really awesome that we get those accessories. So what I'm gonna do is start off with the first figure, go all the way through, review each individual one, and then we'll put together Howard Finkel. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first up, we have Bob Orton. And without Bob Orton, we wouldn't have the freaking Viper Randy Orton, my second favorite wrestler of all time. So hats off to Bob Orton and hats off as I take his hat off. So he does come with his cowboy hat, which is really cool because, again, like I said, we usually do not get accessories with basic figures. So he comes with the head of Howard Finkel right here. Um, which we will put together at the end, so stay tuned for that. And then he does come with his uh, microphone as well, so stay tuned for the end of that. But for this Bob Orton, I'm not sure if this is a new head skin or not. The hair looks really, really good on there. I think they nailed that curly-headed look. Um, again, terrible articulation with the arms. I hate that. We do have his uh, wristband over here and nothing over here. Blue trunks, which I do like the color of. He has the standard black knee pads, and then the boots are usually my favorite part of every attire, and it's not wrong here again either. Um, I really like Bob Orton's boots right here. They have Ace on there, and they look really clean. It sucks that they have no articulation, but they still look really good. So now we can move on to Sergeant Slaughter. And taking a closer look at Sergeant Slaughter, guys, we have his turban and sunglasses, so he does come with two accessories instead of just the one that we got with Bob Orton. Um, it's just your standard aviator sunglasses, and then his turban looks really cool. Um, I'm not sure if we've had this with Iron Sheik in the past. Um, somebody let me know down in the comments section below, but I think this would be really cool for like a Sabu custom or something like that. Um, I really do love this Sergeant Slaughter head scan. I think this is a new head scan. Comparing it to the Hall of Fame, Let's see right here. Here's the Hall of Fame figure, and it does look a little bit new. It's like his mouth is closed. I really love this. I think it really does look a lot like Sergeant Slaughter. I like the camo on this uh, Elite way better, but it's probably just because it's Elite. And we did get some, you know, accessories with this, so they probably had to cheapen up on the paint. It doesn't look too bad, though. Um, going down, we have his cargo pants tucked into his boots, and I really love his boots. They look really sick. Um, all the colors bouncing off with the khaki look amazing. And then, of course, he does come with Howard Finkel's arms. So, um, yeah, you definitely need these to complete Howard Finkel. But let's move on to Ted DiBiase. Up next, guys, we have the Million Dollar Man himself, Ted DiBiase, and I am loving this figure. This is definitely my favorite out of these new basics. That freaking green suit, he is looking so swag. With that white shirt underneath, dollar signs on there. On the back, we got the silver dollar sign. Um, we have seen this head scan before on a different basic, I think, from Ted DiBiase, and maybe his legend or entrance grades figure, I'm not sure. Um, but we have the silver line going down. It's more of like a Celtics green, like a classic uh, Boston Celtics green. Black shoes, and these joints aren't that tight, so I love that. It's really fluid, 
and this figure is freaking sick. I think the uh, suited figures definitely do the best with this new basic articulation. I think that it hides it well, and it's not a huge deal, and I'm not sure. I don't think he's elite under here, but it's still a really dope Ted DiBiase, and of course, he comes with the torso of Howard Finkel, and um, again, you do need this to build Howard Finkel, so you got to pick up the entire set. So now that we've covered the Million Dollar Man, let's move on to the Ravishing One. And last but not least, guys, we have the Ravishing Rick Rude Basic, last figure in the series. And I'm not a big fan of this attire. I love Rick Rude. I love the head scan. Really captures Rick Rude's likeness. And um, these tights, man, the purple with the black stripes, just not very... Uh, out of all the attires he wore in his career, this is definitely not a one that I would like in figure form. Um, but his boots do have black with white outsoles. They say simply. And then on the other one, they say ravishing. So it's kind of weird. His boots have articulation, but but, um, Bob Orton's do not, so that's very weird and odd that I just noticed that. Sergeant Slaughter's do have articulation as well, but that is the Rick Rude head skin. I love this, um, or the Rick Rude figure, my bad. I do love the head skin, though. Really does look like Rick Rude, and I think we've seen that before. But he comes with the legs, and they are the good articulation legs, and they're really fluid. They're not um, really tight. They feel really good in your hands. But now, let's go ahead and build this Howard Finkel. Alright guys, now that we have all the parts to build Howard Finkel, I'm going to try to do this on camera. You got the little hole right there with the little peg. You just stick this on up in there and it should just pop together um, just like that. Um, after that, you got to take his or left arm and it should just pop right in just like so. I think it goes in harder than that. Um, and then you have the right arm and it should do the same as the other. Just pops right in there. I'm not sure if they're going on that well. I guess they are. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take that much force at all. And then the final piece, we have the head right here. It just kind of plugs in. And I wish that they would do that for all their figures. Why don't they have that for all the figures, man? It would be so much better. It would totally um, be a lot better to do part swaps and stuff. They could give us interchangeable heads and stuff if they would make them like that. So here we have Howard Finkel and all his greatness raising this up right here. Give you guys a little zoom in. And there he is looking really swag with his bow tie. I love bow ties, so... Definitely um, love this. I may even swap my head on there. This may be the freaking MDT Trey White Elite um, body that I go with, or the Michael Cole, but this looks really awesome. I love the head scan. Does capture his likeness. I love the suit, like I said before. We do get the classic WWF microphone. Well, it would be WWF, but of course they had to um, change the logo there. But um, just simple black Build-A-Figure, and it looks really nice. I love the way this Howard Finkel came out, and I'm really glad to have him in Elite form. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for that entire flashback Walmart exclusive Build-A-Figure Howard Finkel basic set. Really excited, to, really excited to pick these things up. I am happy with the entire set. A lot of them probably will end up in the crowd, which is unfortunate. But again, this Ted DiBiase is so fresh. If you love any Flashback Legends, if you're a Flashback collector, definitely pick these things up. You gotta have Howard Finkel. And even if you don't like Howard Finkel or any of these Legends, you need to get this suited body because it can work for a lot of other people. Even yourself, if you want to make a custom of yourself in bow tie or something like that, Definitely pick this thing up. Really do recommend this Build-A-Figure set. I'm really excited that we actually have, um, you know, a Build-A-Figure set. We haven't had one in a little bit, so it's very cool that we're getting one again. I cannot wait to pick up those Walmart exclusive Elites as well. Hopefully, I can find them very soon to get them up to you guys. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you think of these new figures. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Howard Winkle.